New information tonight, a Baldwin County State Senator says he has lost confidence in the Alabama High School Athletic Association. He says his constituents have as well. After last week's controversial back and forth that led to two Spanish Fort High School soccer teams being disqualified from the playoffs. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us now. James, Senator Chris Elliott is in the process of drafting legislation that could lead to changes on how the association does business. That's right. You know, the senator believes the legislature has the authority to make these changes, and a legislative legal team is now looking into the matter. Just days before the Spanish Fort Toros girls and boys soccer teams were set to start their playoff run, their season came to an unexpected end when they were disqualified. Last week, the controversy surrounding a specific student who had recently moved to Spanish Fort from Colorado dominated the news and local social media circles. My constituents and, and folks, you know, legislators across the state are hearing from their constituents that something needs to be done to restore the public confidence in the Alabama High School Athletic Association. And that is what we will try to do with this legislation. The association has the ultimate authority in matters of team and team members qualifying to play. The state senator believes the legislature should rein in some of the association's authority. But what I'm hoping is that the Alabama High School Athletic Association will come t t together with legislators that are, that, are, um, that are keen on fixing this issue and come up with a solution that works for everyone. Some of the key points in the proposed legislation may include requiring public audits of the association, as well as reviews by the State Department of Education and a call to make the association a public agency. In a phone conversation with the association today, its director of communication said, the senator has every right to his opinion. The Spanish Ford incident was self-reported. We have no further comment. Elliott says this is about accountability and fairness for all student athletes, some whose college earning potential and future careers could be jeopardized if changes are not made soon. I think that the Alabama High School Athletic Association may have increasing liability with these types of decisions as we look into player compensation in college. You know, when you start talking about decisions at a high school level, um, you are really starting to impact not just a child's inability, you know, ability to play ball and their senior year, but scholarships, college opportunities. And local coaches and the Baldwin County School Superintendent have not commented on this. Meantime, don't expect any legislation until at least next year. For now, we're live in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.